What's up guys, thanks for checking out the channel. We have a fun little project here. We actually did this car a couple months back. It was an NA setup with some nitrous. Ended up making good power, but of course you always want more. This is a car that belongs to a good customer of ours named Kevin. We're gonna take off the all motor setup, change everything to a single turbo kit. So hopefully we can get enough footage of all that and show you guys the process. Stay tuned. Just so we can get our hands in there really. We take everything off from the bottom on the header dogs. We want to take it out because it lets extra light in so you can see from the bottom and the top. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. What's going to happen to the intake? We're taking the intake off just so that we got to pick up the engine because we got to move the motor mounts off and everything. Like remove them so that we can actually get the headers out. And since this is a Boss 302 intake, it's a lot taller than the factory intake. Whenever we raise it, since the transmission is still hooked up, is basically creating a pivot point yeah so the engine is gonna as we pick it up it's gonna move back we don't want to accidentally crack it up against the uh yeah but a factory intake won't hit because it's like flush you know it's real low yeah. compared to this one make sure we don't mess it up I think this thing has a quick connect on it. Oh, no, maybe not. It does not have a quick connect on it. All right. Now, all we have to do is pull off this one little fitting right there, and we can take the intake off. That side's gonna be a bitch. Yeah, see, because we gotta take off the uh, AC lines so that the header can go through, and then it's gonna have new AC lines, but we just got informed by On3 Performance that the lines that they sent us, or they sent everybody that ordered this kit, yeah. are for 2015 to 2017 cars, so they don't work on the 2018 cars. Nice. So we're gonna have a whole turbo kit and everything, and no AC. Yeah, we gotta find a hydraulic shop around here, so they can make us a new line. Apparently the 17, 15 through 17 cars, the lines are a little bit shorter. When you put it on this car, it doesn't reach the doesn't, condenser. Yeah. This side's ready though. What do you mean? This guy bought a turbo kit for three grand and everything doesn't fit like it's supposed to. Well, apparently there was an issue with the uh, people that manufacture these. This fits that, your car, uh -huh. your year style. Oh, really? Not a 2018 and above. My so. car identifies as a Gen 3. I don't care what motor you put in there, buddy. It's still a Gen 2 car. Okay. That's not what a hormones say, but okay. <laughs> so what do you want to do? We need to do this now while okay. it's on this rack. Or we can just tell them, hey, Kevin, you don't have AC no more, bro. First car. He's a skinny guy, he won't notice, right? <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> it wasn't my call. <laughs> if it's his birthday, I'll be like, happy birthday. On three says, you ain't got no AC. $3,500 turbo kit, bro. You get what you get. If no instruction, they, we call them, they're like, there's no instruction. <laughs> so good luck. Good luck, bro. You're putting your on three turbo kit on. Where the fuck you at? I really like the build where we, you know, buy everything for the customer, because then everything goes smooth. You know, anything that has been here for a considerable amount of time is just because of the fact that the customer brought his own parts and everything's delayed uh, because everything comes from China now. So we've broken more lights than drive shafts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro, that's so fucked up. I heard it. I was like, oh, somebody's getting electrocuted outside. I thought that was the end of you. I was like, fuck. We really just started. How did he already die? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, if anything happens, I have to drive you outside. You know, our insurance. Hey, you guys took my lightning. <laughs> It's bright as day outside. I don't know, man. <laughs> not even got to kill the like EcoBoost and there it went. Oh, you sure you're not bleeding? Yeah, I'm probably. All right. I don't think so. That's not blood. You still got to sweep that up, by the way. If anything, I'm have to that Go inside, bend over, cough twice, and I'll let you know. That shit was loud. It was. That's right next to Levi's computer. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we, we got the turbo manifold. All right, so we got the turbo manifold. <laughs> We're gonna do a oil return on the timing cover. I don't feel much like pulling the oil pan out and putting a, uh, a fitting 
on both sides of the paint because you can't drill on top of that kind of plastic. It'll always spider crack and then you end up with like a leaky mess. And we like Kevin. We like white Kevin. So white Kevin? <laughs> because we have so many Kevins. Do you want to be Mexican Kevin or just regular Kevin? Because there was like three or four Kevins before you and you used to be Kevin number four. Remember? Duck Kevin? Duck Kevin was number one. R.I.P. Kevin. I don't know where you're at, but before Hurricane Harvey, we had this duck that would come every day. They walk, They would walk from the pond through the fucking car wash, hop that little step right here where you park, and then walk all the way over and just look at us for crackers. And we'd give them crackers every day, and then they would make the loop back to Crenshaw Park, and then they would just make the loop every day. And then Hurricane Harvey happened, and I guess they got permanently displaced, you know? They're like those uh, Katrina people that never went home. <laughs> wow. wow. You're not going to put that in there, are you? Jesus <laughs> Look. Christ. You can't make those jokes anymore. The ratio is getting messed up. Look, yeah. he's from Louisiana. He's from Louisiana. I ain't from Louisiana. I live there. Harry's Puerto Rican. He doesn't count. Nope. He's from a different kind of island. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think from the skater world has been more influential? Rob Deerdick or Tony Hawk? For me wow. or for like the general? In, in, in the world. It has to be Tony Hawk, right? He's just like a half pipe skater though, like he doesn't do any street stuff. Get the card my fucking way. <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 changed my life. I mean the video games, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, he yeah. put that shit on the map. Okay. Other than that, yeah. Did you say Tony Stark? <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't make me put another shot of you eating ice cream in there. We have to do the headers over here because Richard's a little bitch and doesn't work on the two posts. I'm scared. Bitch, you weren't scared when you were over there making babies, were you? Thinking about those consequences. <laughs> Look at you now. Fucking headers on the two, but it's not safe. The way we do them, no. Full box, this. Come over then. That thing is gonna be fucking. Oh. Remember, kids, towards you. <laughs> it just falls apart. <laughs> fucked up. I need another one. Look at that. Ooh, they got a new pin design. I like it. Sure. Oh, fuck that phone. I have wanted a bolt together for the longest time. I'm covering this because y'all can't see the specs of it. But, oh, can't see that either for the Mustang. Looks like we're gonna do a glide after we go out one or two, two more times with the 6R80. The reason you do a bolt together is if you're serious about it, uh, you can change the stator depending on what surface you're on, if you need to get a little bit more aggressive or if the car's not performing like it should. It's easier than having to send it to them, cut it open, have them make their adjustments and change it. So you can also repair it, make adjustments at the track if you're ballsy enough to pull everything apart. So I think we've shown that when we're at the track for eight to 10 hours on a given day, there's nothing we won't do. So mm -hmm. pretty happy with uh, Circle D here. They always take care of us. They've been probably my longest running supporter. So Chris Seahorn, Brady, his crew over there, always top notch. Very nice. Oh, you wanna fuck on me? We have a standard one. I think this is from like a six speed truck. Not exactly apples to apples, but you can see that one is welded around this one is a bolt together so it allows us to actually take it apart pretty cool to see the difference side by side but i'm excited the mustang's gonna be badass i mean it's already pretty badass to me but that's like your mom cheering for you at your games even though you suck so, <laughs> issues with other companies and i knew that circle d was local but i never really messed with them too much but i was like oh, i don't know if they got this and sure enough you know we got it figured out with the trans am and just had a good working relationship been going on like 10 plus years now so the owner over there Super cool. Exciting times ahead. Shout out to the guys at Circle D. Insert my makeshift all the whistle. So this is why you couldn't pay me last week? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool, man. I was just show Gwen and Madison the picture of it. They're really like, oh, cool, Dad. Uncle Brian needs to go fast. <laughs> we did a side-by-side -side comparison. It's about an hour long, uh, me going over converters and what they do and the engineering of it. You need to have uh, Chris Seahorn. I think he will. I already talked to him about it before. He said that he would love to come on. Manuel saying that he won't. So people doubt me all the time. They don't know how how cool I am with all these random, you know, people that they don't know that I have friendships with or that I chat with on a daily basis. Bro, the fucking bronze bushing, everything is fucking badass. Killer, huh? Can't wait to change stators at the track. Oh no, this track's hooking too good. Put in the tight boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Gregor? Gregor's impressed face. Not six yet. You shouldn't be drinking on my clock. Captain America has to pick up anything <laughs> when you have to go to work with no dork. Captain America. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody's dead. Did I hit the beer? I just wanted to hit the beer. You did hit the beer. Look what you fucking did to it. You put a fucking dent in the beer. Shotgun it, pussy. I'll shotgun a beer with you right now. I'm about to head to the family function. 
So I need to be as buzzed as possible. They'll be like, hey, Brian, ain't that your second plate? And be like, ain't that your third husband? <laughs> that had pizza in it. <laughs> Pizza's still good. This baby. So this car belongs to our good customer, Trevion. He used to be a Camaro guy until he saw all the fast Mustangs coming out this bitch and he's just like, you know what? I gotta have it. He bought one that had a Roush blower on it and it already had some work done to it. It had a fuel system that was so-so. It had some suspension pieces, some shitty injectors. Uh, it still has those, but... <laughs> they work. Uh, it, it made some power, but it wasn't quite up to his standard. So he's a hard worker. He likes nice stuff. He said, hey, how can we make some more power? Let's do a Paxton on it and we'll just pull the shit out of it and see what it makes. So we've had this car here a little bit. He's been ultra patient with us uh, while we waited for the supercharger and the four innovations kit. Now that it's here, it looks like we're making right at about 811 to the wheels with an automatic in third. So in fourth, it should go up a little bit, but we'll see. Richard will show you around the car. So this is the first car that I let Harry, I cut him loose on this one, on the Paxton kit. Uh, I walked him through the fuel system install, showed him how I brought everything. I mean, what do you think? Was it easy? Easy peasy? Yeah. A lot easier than I expected, honestly. Yeah, it's crazy how you fuck with me for about a week and a half and <laughs> make 800 horsepower. <laughs> like <laughs> nothing. Yeah, this this thing was a. Uh, it made okay power, but that Roush. Before this one, we did uh, another customer of ours, Mark Tacker. Uh, that one with the JTB packs and eight ribs set up, everything you could possibly do to it. 50% um, uh, overdrive fully. That one was kind of a pain in the ass, and you actually came in uh, a little, I guess, late in that build, but you still helped me put the thing back together, and it made like 876 on like medium boost. So, so. Like this, one, this one sounds so much more rowdy though. Yeah, and that's another thing too, because of the way that the impeller is, and the way the gears are cut on this one versus the JTB, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit louder, especially because it's, you know, we, we put a three pulley on it. It can probably go a little bit more, but for this, it's perfect. I mean, the guy's on street tires, and I actually generally like this guy, so I don't want to see him get hurt with it. <laughs> 811 at the wheels in third gear is a lot, so. It's gonna uh, be Spin City everywhere you go. Cause see how we ride it, everything, the vacuum block. Um, we've had some cars come in here and everything's kind of like raggedy, so we ride it the way I usually do. OEM ish, no clutter everywhere. Did the FC3 triple pump hat, boost reference regulator. These FI2s are legit stable pressure readings, like especially whenever boost kicks on, it, it's not a jagged jumping or a swinging fuel. I like it. And you see, we dine on it with no uh, front bumper. We, we do that stuff just because if a coupler comes off like earlier, you know, we ain't got to tear everything back down. So, yeah, you have to send me that video. Yeah, I'll send it. Yeah, we shot a coupler off. <laughs> That's why we leave stuff open like this. That way it's easy to get to. I just swap the coyote into Yeah, put coyote in it. And what's crazy, a Gen 3 car would probably make a little bit more. Right now we're tweeting on Lund to tell us uh, how the log looks. I don't tune for it. I don't care to tune them. Except for mine, right? No. Yeah, no. You, you're gonna, he's gonna check mine out. No. I'll just stick to my basic push rod Chevys. How do you like it here? It's fun. Very fun. Give yeah. it a couple weeks though. Yeah, give it a couple weeks. I hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> like the rest of us. It's not that bad here. It's, I mean, it's a, any job you're gonna get like, like that blue car, that thing was a nightmare. Nothing hard about it is just having to do ec all the extra stuff and the time frame got extended a little bit. You get easy shit, hard shit, shit that'll sit for a while. Right now we're, you know, Kevin Willis's car, that Tom Kid. That shit you sent me yesterday, I haven't shown it to my wife yet. Me over here watching my married co-workers flirt with each other. Yeah, flirt with each other. <laughs> <laughs> it fits so well here too, because there's a Kevin. <laughs> he came up to me this morning and was like, mm, Levi, like, grab my titty. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got some problems. He wasn't like that, so he started listening to Bad Bunny every day. <laughs> so he sent a revision? Yeah. Like, no, 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 I don't like it. <laughs> More! More! More it! More it! No! I've been doing this for 15 years, and there's one thing you learn early on you never know what's gonna come through that door. <laughs> I've been doing this for 15 years, you never know what's gonna come through that block. <laughs> <laughs> like, whenever you pull like your, uh, your clothes out of the dryer in the winter, and you're just like, <laughs> Alright, it's time to go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's just witchcraft, man. I found what flew off. So when the charge pipe blew off earlier, it, uh, it kicked like a little one of these. But we're trying to figure out where it came from, because I don't see anywhere that it could go. It like flew out from like back here. Like, it's just a clip. Look, I bet it went right here. 
see that uh, hole? It's possible. Watch you and Rooney coming up. Combo. What else do you want? Hola, way. Okay, so while the compressor is not on, you want to give us an update on this thing? You got this with it. <clears throat> I'll get fucked. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we uh, took the timing cover off, took it to David, welded a bung on it. Right now we're just mocking stuff up still. Uh, we've got to figure out the situation with the AC line, see what's going to happen with the uh, no instructions, electric kid. fans, <laughs> no instruction, the parents just swinging it. Thank God we fucking turbo kits before because it'd be a fucking nightmare right now. I think Brian has to decide on what we're going to do for a downpipe. Uh, Kevin mentioned something about wanting a fender exit or a bumper exit or something like that. We're trying to make that work. If not, we'll just have to run it how the kit comes like. And that's kind of where we're at. It's a mess. But it's what we do. <sighs> Let's just make our own kit. We're already here. Screw it. Fender exit. No. Put exit. You can see fireballs right up the yeah. Those are chicken in like sad face. I'm just gonna cut that thing right there. Yeah. Do hard line. Hard line? Yeah. Oh I smell what you're stepping in now, boy. I have PTSD from a dream that I had a couple nights ago. I went another cookout and Brian swung on me because I, I gave him a burger with two buns and he asked for no no buns. Mm -hmm. I'm kinda like, oh they have been like <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna snap and finally like choke me out. I think he's just tired of my shit and my dreams are telling me like, hey, like this guy's getting tired of you. Like, you don't get fired around here. You just disappear in the next season and nobody says nothing about it. <laughs> it's potty. Like, look at him. Get right, the passenger seat. We're gonna go to a drive-in and book. <laughs> you got it. He's got like the, the SpongeBob. Uh, so this car was dropped off a little while ago. Needed a new gas tank and a couple little things. I had an inline pump, and those of you that are in the LS swap business know that the inline pumps are fucking terrible. Something is leaking. More fuel. Anyways, yeah, so we put a fuel tank in this thing with the in-tank pump. Make this bitch more reliable. Mess with the brakes a little bit. We also had an issue with no oil pressure. Whatever idiot boomer that worked on this thing hooked up the vacuum line to the crankcase, so not helping it with the oil pressure control. Now it's got oil pressure. It wasn't starting up because they left the cam sensor unplugged and just a bunch of crap. Like, and they charged somebody for money for this. I just I don't understand. Sometimes it does, it kind of just depends on what the, the nature of the fuck up is. It's full interior car, it's got AC, it's got vintage air. Somebody did a install, if you call it that, for the controls right here. I would drive this like once in a blue moon maybe. It's a good 20 footer. <laughs> the horns work. Oh, there's okay. one? Yeah, there's two buttons on here. That's one. Alright, now I'm just analoging. It's got a 5.3 shorty header, it's cold air intake. You look like you were in a, like Pawn Stars. I told you. You never know what's going to come through that front door. <laughs> <laughs> that crisp 1960s door opening. Next time anybody asks to install one of these, I'm going to charge double. Oh! <laughs> I want it, Daddy. I'm so excited about this. Almost tripled the horsepower. <laughs> Damn. These next couple videos are going to be fucking lit. You boys like Mexico? Yeah!